simple formulas of simple verbs, as long as one can figure out the relevant areas involved, the elements can be determined. Check out more examples here in engineering surveys. The first simple curve example states, the offset distance of the simple curve from the PT to the back tangent is equal to 150 meters. PC is stationed at 2 plus 100 meters. The simple curve has a central angle of 50 degrees. A. Compute the degree of curve. Next, compute the external distance and the length of the long cord. The given distance of 150 meters is a perpendicular offset from PT to the extended back tangent. For the first requirement, which is the degree of the curve, the formula we have is R is equal to 1145.916 divided by the degree of the curve, which means we need to identify the radius of curvature. By focusing on the right triangle generated by the offset distance with a side of 150 meters and angles 50 and 90 degrees, we can solve for T. And by taking sine of 50 degrees, we are able to find the tangent distance T, which is 114.91 meters. And recall that tangent distance is also formulated as R, tangent of half of delta. So by plugging the previously solved T and delta, we get R as 246.43 meters. From here, we can get back to the first equation of the degree of curve and solve it as 1145.916 divided by 246.43 meters, which gives 4.65 degrees. The next requirement is the external distance. At this point, since we are able to have the values of the radius and delta, then we can simply use them in the formula for external distance, which is E is equal to R times secant of half of delta minus 1. So we can compute E as 25.48 meters. Similar with the third requirement of looking for the long cord, since R and delta are already known, we simply plug them into the formula LC is equal to 2R sine of half of delta, which would then result to 208.29 meters. The second example, tangent AB with bearing north 85 degrees 30 minutes east and tangent BC of bearing south 68 degrees 30 minutes east form a simple curve. If the stationing of the vertex is 4 plus 360.2 and stationing of PC is 4 plus 288.4, we are required to determine the radius, the external distance, the long cord distance, and the length of curve. With the given bearings of the tangents, we can see that at PC, the tangent is north 85 degrees 30 minutes east. Then, the deflection of angle is at PI, which is then with the bearing south, 68 degrees, 30 minutes east. Another set is the stationing or location of PC and PI. The stations will be used to identify distances, and from them, we can see that the distance between PI and PC is the back tangent. So, by subtracting the station of PC from PI, we get 71.80 meters, which is the length of the tangent. From the given bearings, focus on the PI where we can project the bearing of PC and solve delta by supplementary angles, which would be 180 degrees less 85 degrees 30 minutes less 68 degrees 30 minutes. With T and delta known, we can use the formula T is equal to R tangent of half of delta to solve for the radius of curvature. So we have R 
as t all over tangent of half of delta, which can then be computed as 311 meters. The next requirement is external distance. And again, as long as the radius of curvature and central angle are known, the other elements would be easy to solve. From the formula E is equal to R secant of half of delta less 1, E is then computed as 8.18 meters. The long chord of the curve would have the same computation using R and delta, and by simply plugging them into the equation, the long chord will then be solved as 139.92 meters. The length of the curve is computed as L is equal to delta R. And do not forget to convert radians into degrees, thus the conversion 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. By substituting delta and radius R, L is then computed as 141.13 meters. Thank you.